Okay, okay, okay. He's frozen, so let's give him a Rivara. No, 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 it's stop, it's stop. There we go. There's another one over there, but we gotta... What? <laughs> I mean, thanks for the bubbles, even though we can't damn reach them. Now does it Okay, it's this one. What the hell do we do? Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna pause this and I don't usually oh, fuck I can't. I got the stream going. Oh do we just barrage him with oh god. Hold on. <laughs> Nigga bop in the mic. He's doing the chicken dance. What do I do with you? I don't attack you. Attacking is a no-no. If I... Oh. I dicked this up. I dicked it all the way up. I dicked it all the way up. You're supposed to attack me. You're supposed to stop him. Oh my boss got oh shit. That's alright, there'll be plenty more. I know, but I wanted it now. It'll be just fine. You're supposed to attack them. You're supposed to stop them and then use your most powerful attacks against them. And then go in before he disappears. Well, this is this. This is the Tarzan level. I think we wrecked this enough. We got all the way up here. Let's fall off, see what happens. Jump into the tree hollow to slide down the slider. Pick up all the fruit on your way down to unlock up to four different paths. Clear all of them for a reward. Okie dokie. 
Let me save the game first. Indeed. Oh. Let's do it. Gather the fruits. We need ten. I can't damn see with Tarzan in the way. I only got nine. I only got nine. Oh, let her do her shit. Or not. The one time when Donald actually wants to use his weapons. Alright, we're done at Tarzan's level. I had enough of jungle fever for the day. I'll let Jane do her thing, get dicked. Be about my way. <clears throat> I'm gonna take the time to read this journal and then I'm gonna take a quick break. Sora story. Kyrie disappeared during the storm. King Mickey left Disney Castle to stop the Heartless. Sora, Donald, and Goofy's search for their friends continued. An eerie shadow was drawing near their destination. In Wonderland, they helped Alice, who was falsely charged with some crime, but in the end, someone abducted her. So she's gone. She's not, she's not even in uh, Wonderland. Uh, in the deep jungle, they defeated Clayton, who was possessed by the darkness. Sora was reunited with Riku back in town, but they were separated again. Sora's new friend, Tarzan, led him to a mysterious keyhole. When Sora sealed it, the keyhole, the keyblade he acquired. When Sora sealed it with the Keyblade, he acquired a new gummy block. Aerith explained that the Heartless traveled to various worlds through keyholes, so sealing them might prevent more Heartless from invading each world. The new gummy opened a path to another world. Sora story. That's Sora story. Wonderland. After falling through a deep hole, Sora and company arrived in Wonderland and followed a white rabbit all the way to Queen of Hearts Castle. There, they witnessed the trial in which the unreasonable queen falsely accused Alice. Angered by this injustice, Sora rushed in and challenged the queen. He and his friends found evidence proving Alice's innocence, but the queen simply accused them next and ordered her card soldiers to seize them. After fighting them off, Sora noticed that Alice had disappeared from her cage. While looking for her, he and his friends ran into the Trick Master. They defeated the powerful monster, but Alice's whereabouts remained unknown. Sora, Donald, and Goofy fought brilliantly to advance to the finals. Their opponent was Cloud, who was hired by Hades to get rid of Sora and Coveney. When Hades unleashed Cerberus during the match, Hercules entered the arena and took him on single-handedly. In the end, Sora and his friends helped Hercules defeat Cerberus. Phil was impressed by the feat and dubbed Sora, Donald, and Goofy junior heroes. Fighting other tournaments, continue your journey to become a true hero. Deep Jungle. Sora and his friends sought to reach the gorilla's nesting grounds, but Clayton, possessed by the Heartless, stood in the way. He abducted Jane and hunted down the gorillas. In their final showdown, Sora and company defeated Clayton and an invisible monster named Stealth Sneak. Sora finally gained Kerchak's trust 
I always thought it was Kerjack. And was allowed to go to the nesting grounds. Tarzan led everyone to a cavern with a mysterious keyhole. When Sora sealed it with the keyblade, he found an unusual gummy block. Although Sora and the others couldn't find their friends, the new gummy block should help them get to another world. Sora, Donald, and Goofy said goodbye to Tarzan and the others and continued their continued with their journey. Oh look, more shit. Agrabah! Hoping to take over Agrabah, Jafar took Jasmine with the lamp and the lamp with him to the Cave of Wonders. Sora and his friends followed him there where they encountered Maleficent. They learned that Maleficent and Jafar were rounding up the seven princesses, Jasmine being one with the power to open the final keyhole. With Genie at his side, Jafar attacked Sora and company. Somehow they defeated him but could not find Jasmine. She had been adopted by someone else. They returned to Agrabah where Aladdin freed Genie with his final wish and asked him to help Sora find Jasmine. Genie agreed and joined the party. Monstro. Inside Monstro, Sora and friends ran into the baddest kid on the face of the planet Earth and his daddy. Pinocchio wanted off and when Sora found him he also found Riku. It was strange. It was a strange reunion, and Riku suddenly ran off with Pinocchio. Baffled by Riku's behavior, Sora followed them. Amidst all the chaos, a heartless attack. Pinocchio left him lying motionless. Did it consume his heart? No way. He su his heart survived and will remain strong as long as I do my duty as his conscience. Oh. Pinocchio awakened when I called his name. Riku fled the scene, leaving Sora bewildered by the change in his friend. Hundred Acre Wood. After opening the straightened book inside Merlin's house, Sora found himself in a picture book. There he met Winnie the Pooh, who told him that all of his friends and his favorite honey tree had vanished. Some pages have been torn out, causing their disappearance. Gathering the, Mrs. Pa the missing pages and reunite Pooh and his friends. Atlantica. Ariel and Princess Ariel, a princess of Atlantica, yearned to go to other worlds, but her dream could not be realized as King Triton, her father, forbade such notions. Ursula took advantage of this coax Ariel. Or, er, Ursula took advantage of this to coax Ariel into leading her to Trident's Trident, which she then seized for herself. To atone for her mistake, Ariel went to Ursula's lair with Sword Donald and Goofy to retrieve the Trident. After her mores were defeated, Ursula used Trident's power to become a giant, humongous whore, but was vanished in the end. With the Trident's power, Shaw found the keyhole and sealed it. In Halloween Town, Jack the Pumpkin King of Halloween Town worked with Dr. Finkelstein and created a heart to control the artist for the Halloween festival. Oogie Boogie plotting to use the heart to take over Halloween Town and had Lock, Shock, and Burrow steal it. When Sora and company arrived with his manor, Oogie Boogie tried to summon a swarm of heartless with the heart but failed. Evidently, the heart was incomplete. After Sora and his friends were defeated, after Sora and his, well, yeah, they were defeated a couple of times, thanks to Boskov. But we fixed that in the end. Oogie Boogie! was defeated. He turned into a giant monster becoming one with his manor. However, he was beaten yet again and disappeared along with the manor. Sora sealed the keyhole in Halloween Town. You know, as I'm beginning to read this, um, so far in this story, I've come to notice that King Hearts really doesn't make any sense at all. Like, it's just a bunch of random ramblings for children. Which, I mean, of course you get that given the nature of Kingdom Hearts games, but <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure that's where all the confusion comes from with the later games and all the mix-ups in the stories because they try to make it make sense somehow, but so far, all we've been doing is meddling in different Disney characters' lives, which is the opposite of what we're supposed to be doing, which is one of the things we were told not to do as bearers of the Keyblade. And uh, all the villains are getting together. They're about to go do some shit, some bad shit, and we have to go stop them. There's really, like, no point. Like, this is the definition of a children's game. Which, like, I'm not gonna lie. It's one of the coolest children's games I've ever laid my hands on. It's just... <laughs> 
like Boscoff was sitting here. Well, you know what the story made? No, the story doesn't make any sense. This story is just that. It's it's a random story so far. But the gameplay is nice. We'll have to see. We'll, we'll continue reading this. I'll tell you what. I'm Your boy's going to take a break. I'm going to grab me a slice of tea. And then when I come back, we're actually going to continue reading the rest of this journal. Because I'm thoroughly interested in really trying to make sense of all this now. Like, I, like, <laughs> that's my goal for tonight. All right, give me a sec. I'll be right back. I'll leave stream up. All right, so your boy's got his tea. And I took my piss break. Let's read these journals. Let's get into these journals. Let's see this. Let's see these mini games. There's a record for vine jumping. There's a record for. Hmm. Green Serpent. Slider. Treaty list. One to one down. We got fifty one puppies. All right, uh, let's get into these and some reports. Answer report one. <clears throat> and I will be reading in the voice of Ansem after I sip my tea. Excuse me. I just gotta get one sip. <sighs> Much of my life has been dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge. That knowledge has guarded this world well. Not a soul doubts that. I am blessed with my people's smiles and respect. But though I am called a sage, there are things I do not understand. I believe darkness sleeps in every heart, no matter how pure. Given the chance, the smallest drop can spread and swallow the heart. I have witnessed it many times. Darkness. Darkness of the heart. How is it born? How does it come to affect us so? As a ruler of this world, I must find the answers. I must find them before the world is lost to those taken by the darkness. All right, so I just I just got my cap bone black, B yeah, blown bone black, blown back, all at the same damn time. So remember how I just said <laughs> that this game was strictly this was a, a a an intricate, unique type a type of uh, whatever meaningless ramble rambled words you could put together. Uh, type of kids game, it just blew me back with this one passage right here. Cause now you're getting into some some deep, some deep deep, you know, some some philosophical shit. You ask us some scientific questions. You ask some theological questions here. And I'm pretty sure children at the age of 13 may or may not understand. Actually, <laughs> I don't think I've ever ran into an, a 13 year old unless they had the IQ of of, of Miles Tails Power. Prower himself that understood shit like this. I'm interested. I'm invested. Let's keep reading. Answer report three. <clears throat> the shadows that crawl beneath the castle are they people who lost their hearts or incarnations of darkness or something entirely beyond imagination? All my knowledge has provided no answer. One thing I am sure of is that they are entirely devoid of emotion. Perhaps further study will unlock the mysteries of the heart. Fortunately, there is no shortage of test samples. They are multiplying underground even as I write this report. They still need a name. Those who lack hearts. I will call them the heartless. Okay. Okay. I see. I see, I see. Keep it as simple. Sim sim simplicity is the key to life. People try to complicate shit. Cause I mean, back in my younger days, I probably would have called them like uh, it just I would have threw some words in there that just really didn't need to be thrown in. The heartless, it's it, it has it's catchy, 
yet satisfying. And obviously the shit stuck. I don't know how many goddamn see what is it, six sequels of this shit? And you get in the seventh? I'm invested. Let's continue on. Let me slice this tea real quick. I gotta slice it. I have to. I have to. Give me a second. Give me a second. I have to read my reports from my future. Or is it my past? From a different galaxy in another timeline. In a separate universe. Those are good questions. I am now studying material from the meteors that rained down that fateful night. What a find. The material is foreign to our world. It is elastic to the touch. And when two pieces are combined, they bond easily. None of the records I scoured even mentioned such a substance. Was it introduced to this world when I opened that door? I wonder how many other such materials drift through the atmosphere of this tiny world. I wish I could soar off to find out. Could there be uncharted worlds up there? My curiosity never ceases to grow, but I should stop speaking of such unrealistic dreams. For now, there is no way to venture outside this world. My people and I are all but prisoners of this tiny place. So, what we know of Ansem so far is that uh, he is a man of wisdom. All great men of wisdom know that uh, one can never know too much. To be a true sage. So, he's curious about the heartless. He's curious about the darkness inside of people's hearts. And now he's curious about some goddamn elastic foreign material that came from meteors. Hmm. What could that what, what? I have no clue as to what could that be. Mm, two pieces are combined, they bond easily. Could it be, uh. synthesizing materials? I'm curious. We have to find more reports. So I can read passages of my parallel self. Come. Let's look at the characters we have so far. Characters 1. I'm going to read Sora. Actually, we did already read all these. Didn't we? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. 99 puppies. Oh, we got new ones. Let's read the new ones. Riku. Riku is an islander, a self-confident youth always competing with Sora. When the Destiny Islands vanished, so did he. By the time Riku reappeared, Sora had already found new friends, so Riku didn't rejoin him. Riku is willing to go any length to save Kairi, even join forces with Maleficent. You treacherous bastard. He's got on, he's got on like a... Uh, <laughs> like jumpsuit pants stapled to regular pants with belts. That's one thing I've noticed about Final Fantasy characters. They all have an affinity for belts. Which I don't mind. I mean, <laughs> for some reason belts give you an, uh, an edge as a character. I, I can see, I guess. I don't know, he think he's cute. He, he's, he's doing all right. We've yet to see, like, actually see Mickey Mouse in this game. Who else we have? Ansem. Ansem, a researcher who studied the Heartless and delved into the secrets of the worlds. He organized his findings into a single volume known as Ansem's Report. When he inexplicably vanished, most of its pages were scattered to the winds. And Maleficent, a sorceress of awesome power. <laughs> she leads the villains who seek to harness the power of the Heartless. 
she has also tricked Riku into joining her and is using him as part of her evil plans. She first appeared to curse Aurora in Sleeping Beauty in 1959. God damn, how time flies. She has survived this damn long. Waka? Flocka? No. Can't be. Selfie. <laughs> Selfie! Cloud. Pluto. It's Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Characters 2. Simba. The leader of the Pride. He rules over the animals of the Pride Lands. His Savannah Kingdom. Hold down the triangle button to charge up his power. When the command changes to Proud Roar, release the button to unleash the attack. Hold the button down longer for more power. He roared onto the scene in Lion King. The Lion King, 1994. Damn. Damn. That long. It's been that long. It's been so long. Oh, look at all this shit. Let's read them all. Let's read them all. Aladdin, a young man living in Agrabah. He helped Sora defeat Jafar and used his last wish to release Genie from the lamp. Aladdin asked Sora and friends to help save Jasmine, who has been abducted. Uh, even though we can't met okay. Genie, the spirit of the magic lamp who has been freed by Aladdin with his third wish. Genie has joined forces with Sora and friends to rescue Jasmine. He will attack all locked on targets with Showtime. He granted our wish by appearing in Aladdin, 1992. Robin Williams immortalized. Jasmine, the strong-willed princess of Agrabah. Jasmine longs for the freedom of life outside of the palace. She is in love with Aladdin, but doesn't know his real identity. She left the palace to seek Aladdin's help against Jafar. Mm, Jafar. Oh, yeah, they do have the character views, too, but they're not as interesting in this one, I guess. What was Jasmine's? What'd she look like? Just, uh, just Jasmine. For some reason, I mean, I could be wrong, but I feel like she had, she had bigger tits in the second one. I'm probably wrong, but whatever. Jafar. The visor of Agrabah. He joined forces with Maleficent and tried to control the Heartless. He gained control of the lamp and became a powerful genie, but was defeated by Sora and friends. The Jafar genie. With his last wish, he became an all-powerful genie himself, but he forgot that all genies share the same fate to serve whoever controls the lamp. In the end, his lamp became his prison. Damned fool. And then somehow escaped in the second one. But you all don't know about that yet. Spoiler alert. Maybe, maybe not. Abu. Aladdin's faithful furry sidekick. Abu's size and ability make him valuable in tight spots. He's got a weakness for jewels and treasure. And when he's around them, he can't think of anything else. Iago, Jafar's cunning, crotchy parrot. He's Jafar's eyes and ears as, he's, as he flies around Agrabah, spying on his master's enemies. Iago takes after Jafar with a penchant for intrigue and evil. I'm not gonna lie, his voice actor... <laughs> His original voice actor was one of the most annoying voice actors at the time. The guy's a great voice actor, but when I was a kid, I, I couldn't fucking stand his voice. I couldn't stand to hear it. I hated the shit. <laughs> I just hated Iago as a character altogether. And somehow he became so goddamn popular that they put him in the Aladdin cartoon and turned him into a good guy.